once again, a very good Entrepreneurship Tuesday morning to you. My name is Hilda Wadidi and you are watching Why in the Morning, your favorite breakfast show. We do this between Mondays and Fridays between 7 and 10 o'clock in the morning. Do make sure you participate in the conversation and I hope you did catch that interview with Barry Moses and Jocelyn. And now you know, if you're a lady out there, do your eyebrows fast pay more attention when you begin your day. So speaking of beginning our day, we have an artist here with us, our final interview of the day. He goes by the name of Samuel Kenywa from uh, Pencil Art Sam. Yes, and he'll say good morning to you. It's his first time here. And before we get into how talented he is with his pencil, I think the Manchester United fans, it's about time we acknowledge a gentleman who is right next to me. goes by the name of Anthony Marshall. So, Anthony Marshall, here you are. So, all of you who are crashing on the... And all the Manu fans that are mourning. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, the pencil artist today came with a, a picture for your casket. <laughs> all right, anyway. So, it's about time Sam says good morning to the people. Say good morning to the y 254 family. Uh, good morning, guys. I'm um, Samuel Kenyua. Mm -hmm. So known as Pencil at Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm a portrait artist, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yes. Yeah, this is what I major in, uh -huh. pencil arts. Though I do other kind of arts, but uh -huh. this is what I've majored in. Okay, fantastic. It's good to have you in studio with us today, Samuel. Thank if you. If you do want to participate in the conversation, at Y254 channel on Twitter, the hashtag is Y in the morning, hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday, on Facebook, Y254, just in case you forgot, channel 376 on YouTube. Oh, oh sorry, on DSTV. Hey, goodness. Correction, channel 376 on DSTV, sorry. Okay, so Samuel, let's talk a little bit about how you, how did you discover you wanted to do this? And what was it about the pencil and the color pencil that caught your attention? Out of all the other arts you could do, why this one? Okay, so I discovered I have a talent when mm -hmm. I was very young. Mm -hmm. So uh, my mom had been very supportive mm -hmm. when she, Mm -hmm. discovered that I had it. Mm -hmm. She had to support it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone in my family have supported this talent, I can mm -hmm. say that. Mm -hmm. So when I finished high school, 2016, mm -hmm. I decided to join in the pencil work because mm -hmm. it's what I saw most guys doing. I didn't know about other arts a oh, lot. You had, oh, okay. Uh -huh. So this is what I started with. But mm -hmm. I've, like I've said, I'm doing other arts right now, like paintings. Mm -hmm. um, I customize shoes. Mm -hmm. it, Speaking um, of which, my heel just broke right now when we're in studio. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't fix that. I, mm -hmm. like, I can draw Tom and Jerry there. Like. <laughs> but you can draw Tom and Jerry <laughs> on my heel to replace it. OK, I like that. Uh -huh. Uh, but I'm I'm just starting on that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's more or less what you've diversified into since you started uh, with the pencils and. Finally, Nasari, I remember when we were younger, we used to use a lot of uh, coloring. Did it start with coloring? Because I can see this coloring here as oh, well. Oh, uh, of Involved. course. Did it did it start uh, with coloring? And which was what was your first uh, color pencil board like? I can remember the ones that were called Crayola. I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell us yeah, about your first colored pencil uh, dog? Okay, mm -hmm. I think it was Crayola. It was Crayola. <laughs> but mm -hmm. professionally, mm -hmm. a pelican colored pencils, and mm -hmm. it's what I'm still using even now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about um, uh, how long have you been in this, by the way? Yes, speaking of which, how long have you been doing this? Since 2017. 2017, professionally. Yeah. yeah. Um, how do you come about who, who, who you want to draw? How do you decide, who, where do you get your, where do you draw your inspiration from, rather? Um, from many things, but mm -hmm. uh, mostly, mm -hmm. it's what, what is trending. Like, oh, you like to draw what's trending, or yeah. people that are trending? Yeah. So much as they, oh, oh, oh yeah. Huh? No, the, uh, <laughs> I, I had drawn it earlier, when Marshall, uh -huh. I uh, scored a goal uh -huh. and he trended a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Also, oh, this was actually a celebration, not for the casket. Yeah, I'm okay. a Man United fan. <laughs> <You're not>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh -huh. we, are, we are proud. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, you, so, you actually like to draw a, a pictures of people and things that are trending? Yeah, but also, uh -huh. I have a project mm -hmm. called Happy Africa. Happy Africa. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, most artists will draw Africans, but with their sad faces crying. And you know, our art is being viewed worldwide. So mm -hmm. I had to show them that we have uh, like happy things in Africa that 
So like I draw some happy kid or someone smiling to show mm -hmm. just to bring out a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want to spread the message that there's happiness in Africa. Yeah, exactly. That all these miserable <laughs> uh, images of us is not exactly the truth. <laughs> yeah, we still have some happiness. Okay, I like that. So how do you manage to make them look so realistic? What are some of the styles and techniques you can let someone at home know that they can... Because this actually looks like almost exactly how it is. How do you make it so realistic and this is 2D? Um, concentration. Mm -hmm. I can say it takes passion, mm -hmm. a lot of practice mm -hmm. and patience mm -hmm. for you to do to come up with something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know most upcoming artists want to start drawing today and perfect tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, it can't be possible. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient. Mm -hmm. uh, practice is very important. Mm -hmm. Like the the year 2017, mm -hmm. I used to draw daily. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure I've drawn something. How many images were you drawing in a day, roughly? Uh, when I was a beginner, maybe mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But daily? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like, even when I'm busy, I had to make sure I've drawn something for that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you had to make sure that you keep practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. Exactly. So how long does it take you now to do an image, to, 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 like an image this clear or like the one right next to you of Rihanna? How okay. long does it take you to complete a sketch like that? Or how many sketches do you even do? Like, do you, how many <laughs> sketches do you do before you finally decide on which is which? Is which? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So as you advance, mm -hmm. you will realize that you need to focus more on details. So it will take you even longer. Mm -hmm. But it's a matter of hours. Like, Rihanna's image here, I mm. used like four hours on it. Four hours? Yeah. Whooping? Yeah. You even caught the makeup right and the eyebrows and everything correct. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So you guys can actually also be makeup artists in another life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Most uh -huh. girls will text me ask, asking if I can do their eyebrows. They actually like. ask you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, but, uh, but it also caught my attention. Yeah, it's very well done. Yeah. It takes some particular skill to draw people's eyebrows and even to draw the eyebrows. But let's talk about the fragileness of your work. Your work is very fragile in terms of it can easily be manipulated or destroyed. Like if I come with a red viral and it just look, <laughs> okay. I've destroyed it. That's so what do you usually do to protect your art? And even when you sell it, to make sure that it's always in good quality, that the paper doesn't just start to beat. What do you do to make it look good for long? Uh, you have to start by using quality materials. Mm -hmm. Like the paper ivory board, mm -hmm. it's very, it's hard. The ivory board paper, a paper, there's a paper like for ivory board, is that what you say? It's called ivory board, but it's a paper. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the frames are of high quality, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So, that's what, I, th those are my measures to make sure mm -hmm. the art stays long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's, so take us through, um, you said that you draw two, two images daily when you started out. Take us through your day. What do you do from morning to evening as a pencil artist? Is this your sole source of income as far now? Yeah. Then you can take us through your day. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I sleep less hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, like, I can sleep three, four hours. Mm -hmm. Only? Yeah. Okay. You can see my eyes. <laughs> So <laughs> I cannot tell, don't worry. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so when I wake up, uh, of course, I have to like prepare like a normal person. Mm -hmm. But drawing is something that mm -hmm. is just in me. Like I will be doing something else, mm -hmm. but still the art is there. Like maybe I'm cooking something after an anime can be a palanime. Shed kiasi. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do mostly. Like, I can draw the whole day. So basically, this pencil art is just an extension of you. It's okay. just... Okay, most people say I'm addicted to it. Those who know me personally. Hey, you're addicted to your business. Yeah. Aren't you lucky? Because, <laughs> uh -huh. like, even if there's a visitor, mm -hmm. they can come in the house mm -hmm. and find me, but 
I won't draw my attention mm -hmm. from the art totally. Mm -hmm. We can still have a conversation as I draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So you basically just leave breathe art as well, as well yeah. even as you're doing your other activities. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the works that you have done. I think we can have them on the screen now. We can have a look at pencil art. Sam, here's your Instagram page. Yeah. So let's scroll down. Let's have a look at some of the people you've drawn. And oh, wow. I can see Burale. Yeah, I, I finished that artwork yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, at so around uh, 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I can see you explore different uh, lighting. Your lighting looks different almost. You capture a lot of lighting in your sketches. Because yeah. I can see there's Burale's picture over there. And please let us know what's the difference between the lighting I'm seeing in Burale's picture and the one I'm seeing on Joy Mudengi's. Mudengi. Okay, Jim Mudengi's art mm -hmm. Ooh, is actually a colored art, as you can see it. Yes. Uh, okay, I used pelican colored pencils. Uh -huh. But Burales art, uh -huh. I used Tedlas uh -huh. and the, the black color in pelican colored pencils. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the difference. It actually looks like a really old picture. Before you notice that it's pencil art, it might take some time. Yeah. I can see you've even tried to draw a white... How do you capture the complexions? Because I've seen a white person, and I can see the African. I can see Wangari Mathai, and I've seen a white person. Who is that? Who is that? I just don't, don't I'm know. I'm Manchester it. United coach. Yes, I just knew him to a football. Your man has to be... I coach. Yeah, so you capture different complexions when, in, your, in your drawings. Okay. And skin Let me try to explain. Mm -hmm. Like, when I look at you mm -hmm. as just Sam, mm -hmm. I see maybe a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. But as pencil at Sam, mm -hmm. I see different shades. Like, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going brown, I'm going to say, cream. So, you might catch me staring at you and you, you judge me, but I'm actually wondering, well, what if I was drawing her? <laughs> That's why I'm telling you I'm addicted oh, to this, her. That's why, is that your excuse when you're caught staring at me, boy? <laughs> oh, okay, I don't explain it to them, uh -huh. but that's what in my, it is in my mind. So you take some time to study yeah. a subject and see what you can do when it comes to lighting. So you basically take a mental picture, yeah. more or less. I can see something, wow, I can see something you've done interesting here with someone's hair, <laughs> the hair color. Yeah. Ooh, let us know what's happening here. How did you achieve this? Because I can see her hair is colored, but the image is in black and white. Uh, that, that's what called technique is this? Mixed media. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's more creative, by the way. Most people like it. Mm -hmm. um, mostly the hair, mm -hmm. the lipstick, mm -hmm. and the clothes, I, I can put them in color, but the rest of the skin mm -hmm. in black and white. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what, so what, so what <coughs> message, what message does your work aim to send? What, what message do you aim to send? When you, well, like when you've studied me and you've seen me and I'm going to draw this girl, what would you, want, what would you expect me to feel? And what, would, what is it you expect of your clients, basically? Okay. First of all, if you are a client, mm -hmm. I like to leave you fully satisfied. Fully satisfied? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From <laughs> the scratch, the mm -hmm. stencil, mm -hmm. to the frame, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm just drawing you like a fan, mm -hmm. I expect you to love it totally. Okay. <laughs> so most of these celebs I draw, you will find them sharing it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that shows how much they appreciate it. You know, mm -hmm. it's not always about the money. Mm -hmm. It's about how that person sees your art, how it makes them feel. Because mm -hmm. you're drawing it to appreciate them, mm -hmm. uh, like celebs. Uh -huh. So yeah, just sharing from them is enough. Oh. So this is also a marketing strategy on your end, yes? Yeah. So how sustainable is this? If, if you know that you're a pencil artist and that's your sole source of income, how sustainable is it? Is it something that uh, is putting food on the table for everybody? What challenges are you going through? Um, for you to start earning from art, mm -hmm. you first have to make your name big, famous. Mm -hmm. Make but your name big, be yeah. visible. How? Uh, you need to be well known, like mm -hmm. you might walk into some shops, friends' shops, family. Mm -hmm. I leave these portraits there, so 
that's that's my other marketing strategy. Ah, uh -huh. So like when people see it, they want like that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, and the challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay, there has been a lot of people stealing our. Oh, soft you guys copies. are facing theft. Yeah, soft copies. Like uh -huh. you'll post it. Now is your squeeze when we advance our tambu watermark. So you'll post it, a guy will take it, go post it on their timeline and even post their number. And you will scroll in the comments section and see they got some clients. But mm. they deliver something else. You, know, you can post my art, because obviously if you post my art as yours, it means mine is better. Yes. So you'll post it, the client will love it. Then when he or she commissions an art, you'll deliver something different. Mm. And they won't be satisfied. So on a Bakinaile expression, these people what they post, you know, what they deliver. Oh no. Yeah, on a Gina sana. Okay. So what are you guys doing about that? Or what would you expect the authorities to do about something like that? Ah, uh, for now. Uh, you just screenshot it, make your fans aware. Uh -huh. People will share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it works actually. Mm -hmm. When I, I screenshot some someone who has stolen my art mm -hmm. um, and post it, people will share, it will create awareness, and you will find them even deleting their account. <laughs> uh huh, because yeah. now they've been caught with their hands down. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the high moments. The high moments. What what is the what is the most expensive um, piece you have ever sold? Whether it was a celebrity, and who was it, and is, and which one is your favorite one? Let me not, let me just hold Anthony Marshall <laughs> for the sake of Manchester United fans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh huh. Um, can't can't say the most expensive I've sold. Mm -hmm. How do you even price them? Is it, if it is it more expensive when it's colored? No, it's more expensive mm -hmm. when it's bigger and the number of faces in it. Oh, uh huh. Like that's an A4. Mm -hmm. It's an A3. Mm hmm. So, if it's just this one face, mm -hmm. you might get it at 3,000 mm -hmm. framed. Mm -hmm. Two faces, you might get it at 5,000. Mm -hmm. yeah, it goes like that. Interesting. So, you've still not told me the most expensive one. And how many faces did that one have? And how big was it? Okay. <laughs> now that those are the determining <laughs> factors. I, I haven't sold one with big faces. Uh -huh. But... Like Wangari Madai's art, mm -hmm. there are two of them, mm -hmm. if you have viewed them. Yes, They yes. were both bought by one guy. Wow, someone bought both of Wangari Madai's pieces? Yeah, they were eight threes. Uh -huh. One was a bit bigger, uh -huh. even for 5k each. Uh -huh. uh, I've sold a few pieces, by the way. Wow. Yeah. What inspired you to draw Wangari Madai, by the way? Um, the first art mm -hmm. I did for Wangari Madai, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can I say? It Why did Wangari Madai cross <laughs> your mind that you decided you want to? I love nature, oh, personally. You're a lover of the environment. Yeah. Uh -huh. I even like hanging out at these mm -hmm. trees. Uh, I prefer those places mm -hmm. over some mm -hmm. tall buildings. Mm -hmm. So since she was also a lover of nature, mm -hmm. decided just to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You decided to appreciate her and someone decided to appreciate you. Yeah. Interesting. You can say that. <laughs> so for someone at home who is looking looking into get into getting into this particular line of work, what word of advice do you have for them aside from uh, exposing thieves? What <laughs> other what other advice do you, <laughs> might you have for them as well? Okay. Put God first. Mm -hmm. Then as I have said, mm -hmm. have passion. Mm -hmm. Practice. Mm -hmm and patience. Mm -hmm. You'll get yourself where you want. You can't be me, but you can be the best of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. You can't be someone else, but you can be the best version of yourself. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so for someone at home who is watching, hmm? I think it's about time we conclude this segment so that our Barimosis and I can come back and say goodbye to you properly. We have five online businesses that you need to start while in the year 2019. But it's about time we say goodbye to one Sam Kenya. Where can they find you on social media? Uh, on Instagram, mm -hmm. Pencil at Sam. Mm -hmm. Facebook, mm -hmm. Pencil at Sam. Mm -hmm. My Facebook page, 
pencil at some. Mm -hmm. Twitter, pencil at some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to studio today. We look forward to looking to, to seeing some of your work. Please draw me. Mm -hmm. Thank I, you. I will. All right. This <laughs> me <Nimeitisha> publicly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so thank you very much. Uh, please don't go anywhere, but Moses and I are coming right back.